open a variable table and turn the monitoring glasses on. Let's select several values to modify. Input 8.0 symbol name LB is currently true. Let's modify it to 0 or false. Input 8.3 named T underscore Bay 3 is currently false. Let's modify it to 1 or true. Input 8.7 named Bay 3 is also false. Let's modify it to true. The button that has the lightning bolt and the one on the lower right corner is a one shot modify. Click this button to send the values in for one scan. You can see that none of the values changed. That's because we modified the inputs for a single scan, but immediately on the next scan, the signals were read in again. The conclusion is that using a single scan modify will not work on inputs. It will also not work on outputs that are being written to from the code. That's because when the modify value is sent out for one scan, the code immediately overrides it on the next scan. Output 8.7 named horn is currently true. Let's modify it to zero or false. Memory bit 92.5 named LH-2305 is also true. Let's modify that to false. Output 10.6 named PMP-2305 is also true. Let's modify it to false. By default, the button with the lightning bolt and no mark also acts as a one-shot modify. This button can also be configured, which is shown in the video Permanent Modify with the Variable Table. Click the Modify button to input the values for one scan. This time, all three values changed state because there was no code writing to output 8.7, memory 92.5, and output 10.6. Memory word 700 named cut off set point currently has the value 0 in the modify value column. Let's change the value to 51 and click the Modify button. This value also changed and again it is because there is no code writing to the value. You can also modify a bit using the context sensitive menu. Note that 92.5 is currently false. Right click on Memory 92.5. Choose Modify Address to 1. The value has been modified to true. Also note that this is a one-shot input and will only work for output bits, memory bits, and data block bits if they are not being written to you by the code. Right-click on 92.5 again and choose Modify Address to 0. And the bit goes false again. One final thing to see. Right click on Memory Word 700. Choose Row Not Effective. What this does is basically makes the row a comment so that it will not be scanned or modified with the rest of the variables. Right click again and select Row Not Effective again to reinstate the variable. Also, see the video's permanent modify and using force tables for more information about modifying and forcing I.O. This concludes the video.